Yeah, we should... Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives... All are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander... The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever.
Can you help me? Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this. And the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. Saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it.
shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I think... Bear me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. Top of the morning. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without beer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Hmm? And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown.
too many. If anyone can hold the line, tis us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! All right, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to say hello. Ready your stuff! Aye, aye!
They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. Careful, Captain. Stay focused! Portrait Man of War! Christ!
bastard. The French are coming! They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you ask for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything we, in place? Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. 